everyone. Welcome to Update Show. I'm your host, Trey Holiday, and I'm excited, y'all. We have somebody that represents 206 very well out there, one of our artists from the community that is putting it down for us. So let's give it up to Moppy D in the building. What's up, Moppy D? What's going on? What's yes, going on? yes, man. Thanks for dropping by, Good man. Giving us here. some time, man. You know what I mean? I know you got a busy schedule, man. Nah, you got lots of stuff good. going on, it's man. You know, so, you know, we've been sitting down with some of our community peeps and hearing how people have been adjusting during this time. Mm -hmm. You know, the virus really is hitting so many of our families so hard. Um, and so I know that you have made some adjustments. I, I wanted to talk about this wide challenge mm -hmm. you did, man. Let's Let's hear all about why you thought it was important and why you wanted to do it, man. Why did you do it? Uh, my guy, my partner who's on the song with me, Stunner, he actually came up with the idea because, you know, like, when it's when, when it comes to the music, you got to be, you can't just do the music and think, okay, this is it, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to just go to the studio, make a hit. Like, you got to have a, a strategy, you got to put the marketing scheme behind it. So when we sat down, we were like, okay, bang. We're gonna do the song, but okay, what what can we do to make the song look bigger to the masses? So we decided to do a challenge because uh, back in I believe 2017, I had a track called Muscle Up, mm -hmm. and I ended up doing the Muscle Up challenge, and he seen how it blew, mm -hmm. and I think it was like uh, the winner gets like uh, like 150 dollars and a free verse from me or something. So when he seen it, he was like, bro, let's just reiterate that into the wide track and. We here today. Amazing. So, yeah. what is the why song about? What is the even? What is the context the, the, of the song? The context is just about like losing somebody that you love. Like, mm -hmm. why did they have to go? Like, why did you you know have to take somebody that I love? Basically, but we didn't want it to be. Um, we we put it on a on an up tempo beat because mm -hmm. we didn't want it to be like a a, a, a sad like reminiscent song we wanted to be like a celebration of their life yeah yeah, yeah that makes sense yep. and so when you uh when you did the challenge what were you actually challenging people to do what did you tell the fans like what were they actually doing um honest we told them that okay so the, the winner was supposed to get a hundred dollars in a free video from my guy but um honestly we just wanted to see people in, engaged and involved and you know what I'm saying doing something a lot of people a lot of people want to be involved, they just don't know how or, or what to get involved in. So yeah. it just takes the right person to give them that platform for them to showcase their talent. And I feel like I feel like it was more about that than it was about the music video and the money. Oh, so really, they just wanted to be able to spit their verse That's to it. that track. That's it. Yep. I got it. I got yep. it. Well, we do have some clips okay. of, of, of these guys, you know, okay. giving the challenge out. You made sure that you spread it out. Yep. I love how much they were involved. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to those clips and we're going to come back right back so we can just talk a little bit about more about how you're adjusting and maybe more about this challenge. Okay. You guys are going to go to those clips. We'll be right back. It get cold in my city, yeah, the 206. Hakeem Gale took my cousin, left him sleepless. Tell him to call my lawyer, take me to jail, what's the verdict? They asked if I heard it, told him no video about a murder. No, I'm not SP, yeah, I'm a dog. They asked me if I speak, I just know. I like, father, why you have to slaughter my? Can't leave it to the laws of the Lord. Somebody gotta die. I done hugged his mama, wiped the tears from his daughter's eyes. So eyes wild, we don't die, we just multiply. It's hard to put the pride to the side when you were salt and high. Results is wide, the consensus is that I'm the nig. My shirt costs what I paid to find out where you live. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so. Very colorful, yes, very colorful. Uh, how did you feel once you got those responses back? What were you and your team doing when you saw these submissions come in? Man, it was, at the time, it was too much rolling in. I was feeling like, <laughs> man, I should have never even started this. But it's like, you know, I, I love it, man. I love to see people involved, you know what I'm saying, and just doing what they love. Even people that aren't or that don't consider themselves rappers, yeah. like my partners and stuff that I know, that want to trans transfer over and want to rap and they be telling me I, I gave them a platform to be able to exercise their skills so it was all good for me uh, I loved it uh, well that's one of the things that I feel like a lot of people are doing right now you know the the virus has a lot of people making adjustments as yeah. I said earlier and I think that you know giving direct messages to fans giving that direct contact um, that you know that happened with the explosion of social media right. but do you think that you know people were more amenable to your challenge because they're kind of at home like chilling right exactly. now exactly yeah, ain't nobody got nothing to do right now. So anything that's going on, if you put something out and you need somebody to be watching, this is the time to do it. If you need somebody to be involved in something, this is the time because ain't nobody doing nothing. That's All right. we got is time on our hands. We're at home. 
bored. Everybody's TikToking. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's all good. Have you got onto the TikTok tra nah, trend yet? I ain't got onto it. No <laughs> way. My girl's trying to get me to do it. I'm cool. I ain't trying yeah. to do it like that. I might, though. You might see me post a little TikTok uh -oh. or something. Oh, you never know. If you get bored enough, Just you get, you get in, stay Maybe. in the house enough. Maybe. Uh, so, what else are you doing in terms of your artistry, you know, to stay connected to fans, build your brand during this time? What other adjustments do you feel like you made? Because I know when it comes to major events, you can't do those, right? So, did any of your. your did you have concerts or anything that got canceled? Any sh appearances? Man, the, the cold part. There's a um, a music festival in Texas called South by Southwest. I don't yeah. know if you heard about it. And I had booked four shows down there. So once all this blew up, it was just like a dagger, man. Because I'm 2020. I had made it a resolution for myself to travel more mm -hmm. and to expand the music and not just be local. Yeah. So once all this start happening and I'm like, man, I'm on the phone. I'm like, man, okay, look, you already got the bread. Let's just keep this locked in for next year. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it is what it is. I mean, you know, I, we can't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? So as far as me just being at home, I feel like I've just been more uh, in the zone, just writing, trying to get out as much content as I can. Yeah. Probably uh, if I can't shoot no videos, because a lot of cameramen don't want to be out. And yeah. you know, and I understand that. So yeah. I just got to just, you know, keep uh, dropping these tracks and these singles for my fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, that's the way to do it. I mean, I think, uh, you know, we know that it's a machine. We got to feed that machine when yep. you have, when you're a content producer at all, yep. because the fans need and want more and more stuff, right? Yep. They're always looking Looking for more. Well, I think you did a really great job engaging them uh, in terms of the challenge. I know you have uh, a, a little young one at home, almost yeah. one years old. Yeah. How are you adjusting at home? I know daycare now is closed. What right. is it looking like for you in the home front? Um, everything's everything's good. I'm actually it's crazy too because I'm actually moving out of my spot to another mm. spot and it's just it's 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 kind of difficult because all this is going on you know what i'm saying and the process is slowing up but other than that the home front is pretty good so were you able to find like is u-haul still open that kind of thing do you i mean can you uh, still rent a truck I yeah mean, I, I know i'm, I'm are... connected with somebody who owns their own u-haul oh, uh nice. brand so it's it's pretty uh accessible to me so I'm blessed for that you know oh I mean? my gosh well that's yeah. what I'm wondering you know normal people are having a hard time making adjustments in terms of all of the retail that is closing right. you know right it's it's hard to know what's essential business right. Right. and so that I, I've been feeling that challenge so you saying that you're moving yeah. you know someone so yeah. they were like hey don't worry I got yep, you it's huh? all good so I, I, yeah shout out to Rob man shout out to my guy oh that's sure. awesome yep. well thanks again for dropping by and letting mm -hmm. us know how you're doing um what what word do you have for any other artists out there that are trying to maintain during this time? Uh, man, just, you know, keep your head up, keep a good posture, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Don't listen to what nobody tell you. If you feel like it's a good idea, go with your gut. And, uh, you know, just keep pushing out that content. Keep sharpening your skills, man. If you got an idea, write it down. You know what I'm saying? Go home and brainstorm off it. Like, just constantly try to keep your creativity flowing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's all I got to say, though. Well, thanks again. We so appreciate you. We appreciate know you're busy. You I mean, me. at least you're at home right now. But yeah, I'm, I'm saying yeah. that because I know how you are. It's I know you'd be on the move. But it's thank you good. so much. We appreciate it. Appreciate you guys, you it's me. been me, your girl, Trey Holiday, with your guy, Moffy D. Uh, we, we really appreciate all of our 206 and 425 and 253 folks that stop by here and understand that we are here for community. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.